everyone and welcome to another episode of the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we've got a new build, the first customer build. Let's get to it. Oh man, that looks gorgeous. What do you guys think? So you might be asking, what is an MGA? So the manufacturer is MG. This is a British manufacturer and this is a two-door roadster. This was sold from 1955 to 1962. So this customer originally went with a kit offered from Electric GT, but let me tell you a little bit about this kit. So this one comes with a Hyper 9 motor. So this is roughly 120 horsepower, 173 foot-pounds of torque. I'll say the nominal system voltage that you need to run the Hyper 9 motor is about 100 volts, maybe 125 volts, and the motor diameter is about eight and a half inches, and it's about 14 inches long and it weighs 120 pounds. You've seen me work on the blue car on Watson, the original build that had a Tesla motor and that one could go up to 18,000 RPM, which is about 150 miles per hour. So no need for a gearbox. This one, however, goes up to maybe 6,000, maybe even up to 8,000 RPM. Therefore you need a transmission if you wanna get going a little bit faster. So this has an original MG transmission to drive this, they've got 10 aux battery modules. The plan is to have six of them up front, four of them in the rear under the trunk where the gas tank used to be. Each one of the battery modules has four individual cells. Each cell is nominally about three and a half, 3.7 volts. So each battery module is around 14 volts. If you got 10 of them, that puts us about 140 volts. And all together, that'll be about 22 kilowatt hours. I think with a car like this, I think that'd probably get you about a hundred mile range. All right, it is time to unpack and see what we've got. I got things open, so let me take you on a walk around. We'll start here at the front. Gotta love the mirrors way out here. But this, is one of the battery boxes. And I believe it's all been installed. So it's looking really good. So the inside looks like we're kind of missing the floor a little bit. Took me a while to figure out how to open the doors. There's like a pull cable here to open the doors. Got your steering wheel, your rear view mirror, and missing a few things back here. And there we have the trunk. So as you can see, this is already a build that was in process. What the customer would really like with this is to get it running and driving. So after running and driving, you can see there's probably a lot of other things they would like to do. But again, for me and my task, just get it running and driving. All right, there are four bins that came with this as well as some high voltage cabling and looks like some radiator sort of hose coolant tubing. So we're just gonna go through box by box and see what we got. Okay, this one looks like accelerator, goes to the accelerator pedal. It's like a cooling plate, probably for the motor controller. This looks like the motor controller. 1000 PSI. I don't know if this is like a pressure transducer, pressure switch, thermistor, but uh, we'll figure that one out. And this will be the high voltage box is my guess. So that's it for box number one. All right, so this is your charging port. Okay, so this has got your three wires. So this one, yeah. So this one right here is your onboard charger. It looks like you can, they've even got a, a 110 outlet that you could use, or you could splice it up to the J1772, which is likely what we'll do. Some connectors. These look like coolant fittings. I don't think either one of these, you know, neither one of these, neither one of these look like they're water cooled. So I'm not sure what those go to. This will be the DC-DC converter. 
Yeah, so I just verified this is a plug that will go to here. This is really just to I'll call it an enable circuit. So it tells this when it can turn on. That is what this one's for. A couple extra plugs, not sure what those go to yet. Actually, do they go to here? Let's see. Four pin and a two pin. I got a two pin and a four pin. So yes, they do go to this. Because there's also just a single pin here with no other connector. But we should be able to we should be able to handle that one. All right, coolant tank, very nice. Fittings that go along with that. I'm gonna guess this is just a thermostat that goes for the coolant. Some good hose clamps. Ah, uh, vacuum reservoir tank. So my guess is this is if they want. Um, power brakes, you know, a brake booster. I don't know that the car originally came with one, so I don't know that they're going to use this one. Okay, electric pump. So this is a vacuum pump switch, which again, I don't know that we're going to be using. Six tubing. And you've got your, uh, call this a radiator, heat exchanger. It's got a fan on it. So that'll be for all the cooling. So this one's either going to be a pressure or temperature sensor, just in line. All right, I'll have to read a little bit more about that one. Okay. It's like you got your big uh, high voltage connectors. Like some of your low voltage connectors. More low voltage. This one, I'm gonna say it's like DC to DC. More connectors, more connectors, more high voltage, more high voltage, and some nice lugs, and some wiring looms, and bus bars. What are these? I guess those are bus bars. And these look like they'll go to the battery modules. Okay, so this is like all the wiring stuff. So I'm gonna show you a coincidence. So this is the trunk for the MGA. And this is the trunk, I don't know what you wanna call that, the mount, the hinge. And when I was doing the blue car, when I was doing Watson, I bought hinges like that because I thought that might work for what I was doing. I'm kind of looking at uh, what it looks like under here. So I'll just show you here. So I've got a spare hinge just in case. For me, the goal is to get it running and driving. It's obviously got uh, a long way to go on its restoration, but it is looking really good. And I'm just really here for the electrical part. So this was a conversion that was already started. They've got battery boxes. They've got a high voltage junction box. They've got a charger, DC to DC converter. So they've got a lot of these components. Um, for me, it's just kind of figuring out where these components should live, wire everything up, make sure everything's talking and working. So the plan is to get this kit working with minimal help because the original company is no longer there for support. Um, we'll have to see what we can do. Hopefully it all goes well. We already have a lot of content for this. I wanted to keep it short, really just the delivery of the vehicle, the specs, what the plan is, but we've got more episodes on their way. See you next time. Let me call it random. So under here, get some more light. <laughs> 